this video we're going to look at the type of pipe systems what systems we use pipes for uh, the first use we have for pipes is stormwater systems uh, and that's to drain water away from the community uh, so you can see there's a whole lot of houses here uh, rain is falling on the roofs on the road uh, the water flows down into from the road it goes to cesspits from the cesspits it flows into the stormwater system from the roof it goes to the downpipes which connects into the stormwater system and the idea of this traditional stormwater system is to collect all the water that's falling on the community and get it into the river as fast as possible uh, that obviously has more impact on the river because now the um, whereas before this might have been green spaces and the water was flowing down into the soil and so only part of it was actually going into the river now because you've got these impermeable roofs and impermeable roads much more water has been collected and much more water is going into the river and so you have the problem of much higher flows going into the river uh, causing um, the river to erode uh, also there's pollutants which are being picked up from the road all the oil that's on the road uh, the zinc and stuff that's sitting on the roofs that is also being picked up in the stormwater and going into the river so this traditional type of system um, does have uh, significant environmental impacts which is why we have this low impact system which is starting to become popular in this system you have the water flowing into things like rain gardens and other systems which cause the water to um, seep down into the ground and it might sort of just seep down into the ground if you've got um, permeable enough soils or it might seep down into the, a pipe system which again takes it into the to the river now that means that the 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 peak flows are reduced because the um, seepage buffers the flows between the, the community and the um, and the river. So stormwater systems are normally gravity flow. Uh, that means that they flow under the force of gravity. However, in some low areas, you might have pump stations to pump the water out of the pump station. Uh, sorry, out of the low area um, into the river or to a higher area where it can gravitate down. But they are normally gravity systems, which means they flow under the force of gravity. Um, sometimes they'll flow partly full, so they're more like an underground channel. Uh, but sometimes they'll surcharge, they'll be flowing full with um, some um, water in the manholes. But they're still regarded as gravity systems. The next type of system is a wastewater system, and this is collecting the the foul water, the wastewater, the sewage from communities and the business. So everything that goes down the sink in from the kitchen, from the toilet, from the um, uh, showers, everything that goes down plug holes and toilets and stuff like that all ends up in the wastewater system. And it's more important that there be no leakages or um, anything of from that system because the materials that are going into a wastewater system are toxic. They can be hazardous materials. Uh, but they pose a biological hazard. Once again, these are normally gravity systems within the community. Uh, several reasons for that. Gravity systems are cheaper, but also you're unlikely to... Um, with uh, pump systems, they rely on power, and if the power goes off, you are going to... Um, the system's going to fail. However, with a gravity system, gravity's never going to go away, so there's always going to be gravity there. The only problem you have is whether the pipes block or not. So the water flows down into the pipes, it flows down, it keeps on going down to the low point and then there would be a pump station pumping it up to the next catchment or pumping it to the wastewater treatment plant. So once again these are combinations of gravity systems within the community and uh, pump systems when you have a pump station pumping it on to um, either the wastewater treatment plant or the next catchment. And the other system is the water supply system. This system delivers potable water to the community at high pressure, 20 to 60 metres head. So it needs to be high pressure, otherwise our showers or our dishwashers, our laundry um, systems, they won't work properly. They need water under pressure. The water also needs to be protected from contamination, so they're enclosed systems. They are pressurised systems normally. 
Having said that, the pressure may come from pumps um, within the community, so there may be pump stations there, or they may be from storage reservoirs which are high up on hills and use the static pressure to provide the pressure. So those are the two different systems that are used. So water systems are under pressure, which means they don't rely on being going on the pipeline being downhill all the time. They can go up and down and up and down. Because they're powered by pressure, um, they can go uphill as well as down, as opposed to a gravity system where it, it cannot go uphill.